Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and today I will show you how to add grain on top of your image inside of Photoshop, how to edit an aesthetic version and how to add animated grain on top of your image. So of course you can go through each and every layer and put the noise filter on top but there's a more convenient and, and more kind of professional version how to make it. So I will show you how to do this right now. <laughs> So the first step is we need something like an image on the bottom so we will use like the gradient that's trending all over the place at the moment. Simply make a gradient or put an image wherever you want to. So I will crop these two because I don't need them separated and then I will create a new layer which I will call grain static. You can call it whatever you want. And then I will select the whole camera with Command A, or you can use the selection tool over here. The next step is you can go here to your color picker and set this to 50% gray, or and then fill the, the camera, or you can simply hold Shift and Delete on your keyboard, and then you will fill it with 50% gray. It's up to you. This one is a bit quicker. So now we will transform our um, grain layer or not yet grain layer to a smart object because this way we can adjust the amount of grain we want to use later so it's not like we have to redo this whole thing every time we want to change the amount of grain. So the next step is we go to filter, noise, add grain, uh, add noise, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Choose any kind of amount you want to. It doesn't matter at the moment because since we created a smart object, we can simply double click here and change the amount of the grain later if we want to. Here we go. And now we will simply change the gray layer to soft light. So as you can see, it's already with grain on top. And if we want to change the amount of grain, we can simply double click on it and change it. The cool thing about this extra noise layer on top is if you add an image to your composition and put it below um, below the grain layer your whole composition has the same amount of grain in each and every image so this is a very convenient way to use grain so in the next step i will show you how to add animated grain on top of your image i prepared a few grain animations for you which you can download in the description or you can find the download link in the description so to speak and this is only possible in photoshop 2018 or newer or you can simply use the same method inside of premiere pro or any video program you are using if it offers you a blend mode to change so i will remove this grain static version and simply take one of the grain animations i've made and drag it to my camera press enter and then do the same put it onto soft overlay and the next step i will create a video timeline so simply click on create video timeline please don't click on the create frame animation and here we go now i want to make sure uh, every layer has the same length okay this might make no sense to change the uh, grain static but you know what i mean and then i have to make sure my background has also the same length and with unlocking it i can adjust the length this whole thing so the grain animation has 50 seconds in time if you have a bigger size image you can scale it or re repetitively place it it's up to you this is at 19 uh, 10 18 and 1920 here we go so and now we press simply play and now you can kind of see the grain is animated 
the next step we will export this as a video clip maybe without this whole thing and I will copy the grain so it's more obvious and now go to file export and then the video select your folder name your, uh, your document or your video clip and make sure your size is set to document size and then simply save it render and this will export the video it will take a tiny bit because photoshop is not an animation uh, or so to speak, a video tool but as i said before you can of course use this grain inside of your um, i don't know Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro if you flip this to the right like clockwise to the right it's the perfect size for uh, YouTube videos so you can also put it on top of your YouTube videos just make sure you repeat this um, video clip over and over again because... so I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial I wish you a lot of fun with the animated grain and yeah have a good week bye